Hello, my name is Harun, and I'll be showing you how I use Nikon Capture NX2 to edit my RAW photos. I begin by opening the image browser, and before I actually start editing the photos, I want to put some basic contact information to all the photos. Now this is done in the metadata area, where at the bottom here you can see the various IPTC information that can be filled. Now I do this so often that I actually create a preset which can do in the Edit Preferences menu under XMP IPTC Presets and pre-fill those various information. Once you've done that, you can select all the photos, right-click and apply those presets. Now automatically it will fill the various information and here I'm going to just select a label to categorize the photos, click the apply button and the preset information will be recorded on all the photos. Now let's start by opening one of the photos. Right, now one of the first things that I, that I start to do is to actually check on the developed section here and under camera settings we can check and set the white balance. Of course you can use preset white balance settings or set the grey point using the familiar tools that were available in NX version 1. Now I'm, I'm going to leave the white balance as recorded value but I'm going to change to the picture control settings. Now I'm using a Nikon D200 which didn't have picture control but I can change it to the new picture controls that are being used in the new models of Nikon. By default, use a standard which is a little bit too contrasty so I'm going to change it to neutral. Now that looks better. Now you can make quick adjustments here using the slider or click the advanced mode and change various settings like sharpening, contrast, brightness and so on. I'm going to put the sharpening down to zero because I like to apply sharpening at the end of the editing process. You can also apply noise reduction here which I find is actually much better than NX1. If you check the model's face here you can see that there's hardly any noise because I had taken this photo and you can check here in the metadata section camera info and exposure was shot on ISO 100 so there's hardly any noise in the photo so I won't be applying any noise reduction right we're finished with camera settings now we can do a bit of quick fix in this area where there's a histogram and you can adjust things like exposure compensation and contrast so I'm going to brighten the image a little, right, and maybe apply a little bit of adjustment on the histogram. Let's add a slight contrast, but notice that the highlight here is a little overblown. Now in NX2, we've got a new feature called the highlight protection. Now by increasing the slider value here, you should notice that the highlights that were blown are now subdued. You also have a similar one for shadow protection to control the dark areas of the image. Right, that's done rather quickly in fact. You also have another section called camera and lens correction where you can apply things like color moray reduction, uh, red eye, vignette control and um, color aberration is actually automatically done by NX2. So I'm not going to do anything there. Right, we're done with the developed section of the edit list and now I'm going to see whether I need to apply any adjustments to the photo. Now if you look closely at the model's face, you'll see that she has a few skin blemishes that would be nice if we could remove it. Now NX2 provides the new tool called the Auto Retouch Brush, which is a very easy and powerful tool whereby merely clicking on the area that contains the blemishes or spots, you can easily remove um, spots and 
and dots leaving a very natural effect which would have been quite tricky to, to do in other tools and that's the new auto retouch tool in NX2 I'm now going to darken the background a little okay I'm going to create a new edit step select the levels and curves effect and um, make the whole image much darker I notice this affected the whole image but we can actually click on the plus sign of the brush tool and paint over the background area to just darken only the background and not affecting the rest of the image so easy isn't it in NX2 now we can actually check the selection by showing it overlaid on the photo as you can see I've overdone it here so we can click on the minus sign and just sort of clean up the areas that I accidentally did right and we can also just look at the mask if we want to notice that I didn't do the selection right to the edge so I'm going to correct that whoops I think that's okay maybe remove that one there good so we're done with darkening the background now quite commonly you may also want to apply a similar effect over the area that was previously selected such as in this case I would like to blur the background even more as you can see it's already blurred but I would like to link that blur adjustment with the levels and curves I've done so what you do is you select the edit item you press the shift button on your keyboard go to the adjust menu and in this case I'm going to select the Gaussian blur effect now notice that there is a new icon that appears on the edit list which is the um, it looks like a link icon and if you open the edit item you will see the levels and curves you scroll down you'll see the new Gaussian blur effect linked to the same selected area I'm going to increase the Gaussian blur and look at the background which is now blurring there you go it's only affected the area that was selected that's a very powerful tool in NX2